What's up, guys? And we are live from the Brojo. Uh, back again for the Rosham Bros News. I am Candy Banyas. I am John Dean. Mila Brown. Grounded Mexican. Gail. That's cool. Max. Rye Guy. What's up, guys? Before we get going, we just want to th do a big shout out for people who have liked us in the past past week. So shout out to Hannah Grovner. Shout out to Diane Durani. Shout out to Brooke David. And shout out to Chase Perpenia. So, what have you guys been up to today? Today? To this week. Uh, we're starting with me? Or, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty much just work. Uh, finished some Hellblade recording. And... I yeah, tried to share it, but it wouldn't share it. Really? Yeah. Oh, and then weird. I tried to load it, and it wouldn't load. Really? Yeah. Oh, I got it to work just fine. Okay, good. So, I'll, 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 do, it, I'll do it tonight. All right. Perfect. Sorry, I, I was just want to let you. I was gonna let you know. Oh, I'm. Mean, hey, I was trying to watch your Hellblade thing because like I could, I could easily access our Smash, which is also on our yeah. channel. But uh, which is, uh, I felt bad. I was like, I really want to. I really want to. Oh, I mean, it's not like you gotta plug all of my shit. Yeah, but you're part of us. We're plugging all your well, shit. I am John Dean. At I am John Dean. We are Legion for we are. Yeah. Legion. So what have you been up to, Eli? <laughs> Uh, no joke, for the last week, I've pretty much just been playing RuneScape and Seven Days to Die. You shaved friends. it. It is so scary to me. Uh, I did get a haircut, yeah. People, you know, if you listen to our past podcast, we would make fun of Eli for looking like a well, his scrotum sack on his chin and things like that. Now it's just like, oh, there's, well, there's think, the butt chin right there. Well, I think Max is the only one who's seen me without Ooh. facial hair before. I mean, Jay, Jay would have, but he's not here It's right really now. unsettling, though. It's like I look at you and I'm like... You actually look like a like a person that should join yeah, society. You, you never saw me with the long hair either. No, no I didn't. That was yeah, a time. <laughs> right. And you have a weird splotch. At, like, you know, oh, you're yeah, not it's gray. A, it's a birth, but birthmark. Yeah. Your birthmark is your hair. Yeah. No, like well, in the center of my head, block. there's a oh, birthmark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What have you been up to, Gilberto? You went to the zoo. I did go to the zoo. What zoo? The Omaha Zoo. Okay. Not the a zoo bad had zoo. Animals. Yeah, so it's, it's the like, number one zoo in yeah. America. Like, I it's think the number one now? It is. I just know it was one of the top zoos in America. <laughs> it's the number one zoo in America, no, and it also the had the viral... It. It's just in Nebraska. It also had the viral video of the of the little kid that thought it would funny, was funny to tap on the gorilla cage, and the gorilla slap back. <laughs> scared the shit yeah, out of the yeah. kid. Yeah. Scared the shit out of her. Like, I don't... I don't that I don't. seems like the only good thing to come out of Nebraska. Yeah, There's everything else in Nebraska. Yeah, everything um, else. Yeah, well, it's got Chimney that. Rock. I would argue yeah, that Runza and Valentinos are amazing. What you guys don't like the Huskers? Those, Runza's that, that's like a good, great yeah. team that came out of I, Nebraska. My family does. I don't really care about football. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no. I, I get you. My, my main thing is it's always you know at least they went with what they were doing. They're the Corn Huskers. That's yeah, everyone what goes else chooses there. like yeah, they're like, like the Jaguars, the Cyclones. Like yeah, we like we could, what we get yeah. tornadoes. Yeah, we, we don't do get cyclones. Tor like, I and I don't. I've never yeah, seen. Yeah, it should have been like the Iowa hog farmers or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's not intimidating. The Southern pride. God, God damn it! Well, it's, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> I fucking yeah. hate you, Philadelphia <laughs> Suns. What, what have you been up to, Max? Uh, work. I tried to play Overwatch. That game was disappointing. Sadly. Had you never played Aww. it before? Yeah, no. remember? He, oh, you weren't yeah. here last week. Yeah, yeah I yeah, stole cool. Jay's copy, and I was not impressed by the game. So were you playing all. it on Xbox? Yeah. Were you playing it with people? Yeah. How many people? I had a full team at one point. Oh, Jesus. I still did not like the game. <laughs> like You um, should have played it with me. I'll just do everything. Like of randos or like... <laughs> no, I people. started off with randos for like the first couple matches, and then I found a group of people that I know that were playing it, oh, okay. and like... I don't know, as a support person, the supports seem lacking, and the tanks are bullshit in that game, uh, and the fucking assassins just are just dumb. Yeah. Just fucking dumb. It, dumb. Anytime you have to play support, it's both, That's play hey, I'm gonna get a decent amount of points, hey, I'm not gonna have that much fun, though. See, I've always played support in these games. See, I'm a tank support well, no, person. You gotta, you gotta play Lucio, and then just sit there and knock people around yeah <laughs> that's how you have fun <laughs> not even joking you just knock See, them off they, the ledge eh, hey i honestly had the most fun as anna and just i like just anna random too, ass yeah. people with your power up and i was like all yeah. right i don't know yeah. what i'm doing but i'm getting assists left and right otherwise <laughs> i like playing somber quite a bit yeah somber's bay yeah 
Uh, I also have Far Cry Primal that I also stole from Jay. Oh, it's actually Which mine. is Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I am almost done with that game. So that might be coming back to Jay eventually. Nah, I don't care. I literally beat everything in that game. Yeah, that's what I'm going for right now. Yeah. You can do all the achievements. They're not very hard. No, they're not. But that, that's been my last week. Why are you, Ragai? I have been binge watching the Defenders. Yeah, we have. Oh god, I did we that made, too. Yeah, we that kept Max. We kept Max up. Way too fucking late, late, you asshole. Yeah, we were just like, oh, we got one more episode. <laughs> and I also uh, downloaded um, Symphony of the Night onto my Xbox One through backwards Aww, compatibility. Oh yeah. So I've been playing the shit out of that. Did you get that. mad and restart your game? Not, Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Kinds of shots fired today. Yeah. Damn. You called me gay off mic, okay? Fuck you. I didn't call you gay. <laughs> I, did. I heavily implied it. <laughs> I heavily implied it by saying it. <laughs> Not like, so how have you been liking that? It's good. I mean, I, I enjoy the Castlevania series a lot, so. I like the first hour of Symphony of the Night when you're like OP as shit. You mean the first it five minutes? It takes you an yeah. hour to get there? <laughs> <laughs> I like to... You can't play video games? Have you yeah, seen... Yeah, yeah, have, you, that was just a, have you seen me play That's video super. games? I'm surprised that it takes you less... Or, yeah, I'm surprised it takes you that little bit of time to get there then. <laughs> also, I know that if I keep going, death's going to take all my cool <laughs> shit and I'm going to have to start from ground zero. Well, so I'm like, I'm going to enjoy this as much as I can. Zombie. Kind of fun, though. Fuck you that really noise. Your shit. Yeah, the progression yeah. is... Well, yeah. like seeing what you're going to be able to get. Yeah. Did that in Darksiders. Yeah. yeah. They were like, oh, you're a huge demon monster killing bitches left and right. Now you're now just it's a all, guy with a sword. Now you're just a guy with a gun and a sword. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> the best combat. I, I I went to a coworker's retirement party this weekend this week at a casino. Not what I expected to actually have fun at because they're like these sixty year old old ladies that like we I go on the bus, I'm like, Alright, we're probably just gonna sit here and go to the casino. All of a sudden she opens like two two coolers, she's like, I see that you drink coolers like key, and so I got you a twenty four case. I'm like Linda, I drink that because I'm poor. You could have gotten us so much better. And that's when the whiskey showed up. And she showed the whiskey, and I'm like, all right, this is cool. Like, then I felt like I was just partying with the Golden Girls. They were just, like, <laughs> saying shit left and right that I never thought they would say. And I'm like, oh, God, this is just, like, what? It's like if the Golden Girls could say fuck because half the words, they're like, and I'm so fucking trashed right now. I'm like... Oh God, <laughs> this is awesome. She's like, you will never have to see me again. It's fine. I'm like, no, this is awesome. If you were like this every day at work, it would be lit. <laughs> and then Max, Max makes me look like such a dipshit out, out and about. <laughs> so yeah, we went on a venture to go get food. So I, so the girl that I'm seeing right now was at the restaurant we were at, and so was my ex girlfriend. <laughs> And I managed to not see both of them. Kian B and Kian, they're like right inside the door. Kian B and Kian walks right by them, goes to the back, and talks to his old school teacher. I, ta- I see my history teacher right away. I'm like, oh, what's up? She's like, I'm doing good. And then I ran in, run into Max's sister's dad, and we're like, hey, what's up? And all of a sudden, I turn around. I'm like, oh, hey. Well, you wouldn't have turned around if I didn't go, hey, Kian. You've turned around already, right? And I'm like, I turn, I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? That was fun. So I sat there for 20 minutes. She's like, you had no idea I was here, did you? I was like, no, no, not at all. I'm, I'm so sorry. And then I like awkwardly like turn and I see the other. I'm like, hey, she goes. And I text me, she's like, you're awfully friendly with people, aren't you? I'm like, I have no idea what you mean. What? No. What? And I, like, literally had, like, one of the girls who liked this, and, like, I feel like at least one of us has, like, an awkward thing with a girl that, like, likes our page. <laughs> she, ta- she messaged me. She's like, oh, this is your podcast. Just, just make sure you're not talking shit shit about me. I'm like, I wasn't until now. <laughs> we are now. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is why I don't go to Walmart with Kean anymore. <laughs> I think it makes Kian it like half an hour everyone. longer because he just he knows everybody there. I think Kian's Walmart yeah. escapades are I great. I can agree with that. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, no, not with it being great, uh, but 
<laughs> no, I would I rather just real. walk into a store, get but, what I'm going to get, you want and get the out. fuck out. Yeah. Are you I talking know. about today? When no, I mean, like, Y'all today. motherfuckers were, like, spending ten minutes at the Yu-Gi-Oh card aisle, so I'm just like... Well, I mean, if I had went in there by myself, that's probably where I would have went only. <laughs> <laughs> then you would have gotten to see those great masks. That's true. We did see... Uh, we're going to get maskimals. They're called maskimals. There's, like, they're a sloth mask. Masks. There was a shark one. Yeah. Nice. I love it. <laughs> they're only 20 bucks, and they fit our heads. Only $20? <laughs> only 20 yeah, what it's a little pricey. Oh, it's a pretty pricey. It's basically a mascot it's head. Just why I mean, you're it's, poor. Like, it's like a mascot <laughs> head. I'm poor for I'm other wrong. reasons, but... <laughs> child support suck. I'm only poor in life experience. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I feel like the, yeah, it's like... Truly <laughs> poor in death experience. So we're we're gonna run into we're gonna run yeah. into the trailers and we're gonna go. <laughs> hey, thank you. We're gonna talk about rememory and uh, what do you guys think about this trailer? Oh, it seems really interesting. He's too short to kill the guy. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. That angle, you can't get him from that height. Plus, I love Peter Dinklage, so I like the concept of like using other people's memories to find out who killed uh, someone. No, my, yeah, it it's an interesting movie. My favorite part was just that it's, it's by Google or sponsored by Google Play. I don't know. They have some part in its creation. Yeah. And the memory thing just looks like something they'd make, and then it just <laughs> not messes up in the movie. It's just like, seems yeah. about right. Yeah. <laughs> Google sitting there going, "This is probably how do. Google Glass came out." Yeah. <laughs> well, first positive that's gonna be like buffering and like did you mean piano lesson or piano recital damn it damn it damn, damn it, it damn it this is the piano lesson not the i need the recital you fuck there's lag on your memory <laughs> <laughs> must access google cloud why it's in my brain must access google cloud god damn it then we go into molly's it game your mind. and like real talk i honestly thought this was going to be a movie about running molly over like state lines or something like that it's about a gambling, it's about an underground gambling ring written by Aaron Sorkin. So that means the person, the real life person is less of an asshole as they are in the movie. And Michael Sarah's in this shit, so that's the one thing that I got from this. Fuck like, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> he made you hate him, didn't he? I really <laughs> did. <laughs> so this is probably going to make me hate someone that doesn't deserve it. Like Michael Sarah's Michael just gonna, Sarah? you're gonna oh, hate yeah. Michael Sarah. <laughs> Michael Sarah, though. There's a lot of reasons to hate Michael Sarah. There's a lot of reasons to like him, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, he gave us some dank memes, but there could be some... <laughs> like, secretly, he could be an asshole. He probably is, but you know what? He's probably okay. a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this looks very interesting. I think the main character is really attractive. See, it's a movie I'll watch. I do not want to go watch it in theaters and do a review with you, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not that into, like, gambling movies, which yeah, is what this is kind of is. Thank yeah, gosh we have other people to do this. If it was a Counting Cards gambling movie, maybe. I hate 21. Don't even bring that movie It was such up. a bad movie. It was so bad. It might have been bad, but we got to watch it in math class. It's the only reason I've seen it. Are you fucking kidding me, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you... Our teacher, our teacher was, like, 16. She just didn't give a fuck. It's about math. Yeah, yeah she was like, it's got math. Did you see Rain Man too? I was going to say, uh, my... No. no, we watched The Lion King after that. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> algebra, my algebra two, two, two high school life. teacher <laughs> let us watch uh, Numbers, a, like CSI ripoff or whatever. <laughs> Where he's using algorithms <laughs> yeah. that like, would not actually work in real life. Yeah. Did you uh, watch 23 after that? No. <laughs> then we're going into an Amer American Maid. Which I think looks super interesting. I want to watch it. I think it looks like a fun movie. It's yeah, got that, Tom that Cruise. That one did look fun. And Tom Cruise covered in cocaine, taking a kid's <laughs> bike. I just like any Tom Cruise movie where he flies planes, so. Do you right. think he can actually fly a plane? Probably. He, like he, Probably. he, he does like all his own stunts and yeah, shit like that. Like he, so. Yeah, he seems like he could. I feel like he's a plus dream of his. Flying a plane really isn't all that difficult. This yeah. movie, is For this movie rated R? It's yeah. just yeah. getting a rated pilot's R. license. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's like driving a car. Though, like this one movie would you know, have benefited from having <laughs> Nick Cage as the lead. I will fucking stab you. <laughs> I don't think Nicolas Cage should be in anything with airplanes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for Con Air. Right. And then, yeah. so, then we jump into The Punisher, and I guess, Ryan, you can go ahead and talk about how much you like this. I love The Punisher. I, don't I do, too. I don't even give a shit if the trailer is good or not. I'm just excited for The like New Punisher. I also like The Punisher. 
Max has some gripes with the trailer. <laughs> All right, dude, swinging a sledgehammer at cement makes the fucking Punisher like mask low. Yeah, symbol. and like there's like the teeth are clawed into the ground, and dude okay. was just beating the ground with a sledgehammer. Here's the theory: maybe, maybe that was already he, there. Maybe he carved that shit in beforehand and then sledgehammered <laughs> the eyes in. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Maybe it was just already there, and he was like, you know what? If I put some eyes on this, that'll make my symbol. Yeah, I just stumbled upon this sh- bad construction site. Yeah. I know How what convenient. to do here. How convenient. <laughs> it takes me ten sledges each to make the eyes proper proportionate. But it's worth it. Like you, like that's not even the first time you tried. There's yeah, like five, <laughs> there's like five, like five, other The eyes are a little skew on this one. Gotta try again. Oh. I angled this wrong. I only get one shot. I gotta do it right. Why does the skull look like it's frowning? <laughs> <laughs> this skull looks too happy. Aka! Crushes the whole thing. Must I think, be right. I think. I think it's. A, I think it's an interesting concept, and I think I, it's. I don't mind it. I think it's yeah. really fun. Yeah. I'll watch it. Then it goes to Godzilla Monster Planet, and I I have I have gripes just because <laughs> I don't like the CGI animation. Yeah, I'm not I know, watching I know this. You, I know you and I have had this conversation about this. I know you don't like Ajin. Yeah, and no, Knights we've of talked about this yeah. about a few series. Knights of Sidonia yeah. because of it. And, like, I don't know. I'll give it a chance because I think Godzilla looks cool. But yeah, I don't... The Godzilla we saw looked cool, but about anything else, like, the characters, the people, I'm not going to want to pay attention to. Yeah, I don't exclusively okay. hate everything that's in CGI animation, but I'm really not a huge fan of it at all. I think it looks like crap. The exactly. only thing I can think it's of... It's super cheap, and it looks super cheap. Yeah. The only thing I can think of when I watch CGI animation movies, for some reason, like, I shouldn't, but it's the only thing that comes to mind is, I'm always just all like, this seems like... It was kind of an idea for a movie, but the studio didn't believe in it enough, so they decided to make an animated movie of it. <laughs> That's always the vibe I, I get from those movies. I don't have a problem with it. So, I, I think I think it looks it looks it looks it'll, yeah. it piques my interest enough because I like kaiju's. If I take find it somewhere not in theaters, I'll probably it's, sit it's, down and it's watch it. It's a Netflix it. series. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't get how they keep making series? Godzilla yeah. stuff. It's fucking amazing, Eli. It's Why do you want to be a dick? It's not amazing. Why? Why? Why do you not think Godzilla's amazing? It's just the same thing. No, over it's not. It's again. giant monsters. Everything's the same yeah. thing over and over again. This uh, podcast is the same thing, thing over, over and over. And over We've again. literally <laughs> talked about this Godzilla <laughs> thing for a long time. Oh, Godzilla's amazing. Oh, he's not though. Kaiju's. No, I agree. So I'd rather Eli, just have Pacific second. Rim than. Godzilla. I'd rather John does not it. like Pacific Rim. So. I didn't say I didn't like Pacific Rim. I'm saying I sat and watched the entire like what two and a half hour movie. Yes. In dead fucking <laughs> stare mode and still didn't retain a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. You don't need the story. You just yeah, need no, the giant the story monster is yeah. yeah. I figured. That, that's the only. I don't movie. even remember the story. <laughs> that's my problem with. Story? That was my problem with Godzilla. It was like eighty percent humans and twenty percent monsters. Yeah. The Pacific only thing Rim. I can remember from Pacific Rim is that the the Chinese mech had three arms <laughs> and was actually built in China because it fall apart almost instantly. Yeah, they just got their ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. Marvel's now we go back to the movie news. Marvel has tasked Tomb Raider writer. Geneva Robert Dwarert with writing the new script for Captain Marvel. And I think this is the new Tomb Raider movie that's coming out and not the Laura Croft one. So Okay, that's just like infinitely better right there. Right. You didn't like the Laura Croft one? I'm not saying I didn't like it because I didn't watch it. Oh, I'm just really? saying I've heard enough things. Isn't that the it's bad. writer for the movie the same one for the games? I think I, can't remember. I don't believe so. I don't remember. I, I don't remember I, who did the unlikely. writing for the games. I think. I think. Yeah, um, more than likely, no, yeah, because that's... nobody wants their shit to be right. Right. So I think Captain Marvel. Like I don't know. I saw the concept out for Captain Marvel. It still makes me super excited. So bring it on. Like as long as we get an Afro on <laughs> Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I from care. Pulp Fiction. I want the Pulp Fiction Afro. I, don't I really, want a bigger Afro. I don't really care about Captain Marvel. I would care, but I'm so ready for superhero movies to go away for a bit. No, I'm, I'm yeah. ready for more superhero movies, just not not Captain Marvel. Oh, then are you ready for Justice League? I will no, fucking I, cut you. Marvel. Not, not DC. No, thank you. 
Like, I want all their moms to be named Martha, like Aqua Martha, <laughs> Speedy Martha. It's just uh, canon. They're, they're gonna create Martha. their own League of Marthas. <laughs> Martha League. The League of Extraordinary Marthas. <laughs> <laughs> the Council of Marthas. Our children are causing havoc everywhere. <laughs> Grounded for days. <laughs> Production on Deadpool ha- was shut down indefinitely following the death of a stunt woman on Monday. It just went back up. So that's that's sad. R.I.P. R.I.P. So by indefinitely, do you mean like they don't know when they're going to start back they up again? They just started back up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they they just started back up. So they didn't really cancel it that long? That was like a, almost... It was almost two weeks, wasn't it? No, that? it was almost like a week. I was going to say, because this uh, happened a little while ago. Yeah. It, it was a while. It was like... Four or five days. That's I a lot mean, with of time in movie, movie production t- in time. movie production time, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know that. But so they're not shut down now. They're no, they're, they're back. They're back. Up. They just started again today. Okay. And uh, New Mutants actress Anya Taylor Joy, who was in The Witch, uh, Robert Eggers is going to be in the remake of Nosferatu. Hmm. And all I have to say is, I don't think Nosferatu needs a remake. Probably not. I don't, don't well, need a remake. This this one it, I think this one is very money. like yeah. I mean I think this one is very like this one you don't need unless you make it a silent film. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. Like you don't need to make it remake of Nosferatu because it is a silent film, and it still terrified people. Oh yeah. It terrified me when I watched it. I was like, I was in sixth grade, but like it was at like the five dollar bed, and they decided to put like this like psychedelic like rock horror music in the background and I'm like oh I don't want to watch this again but that's the thing like I don't think um where I stand is like it's weird to try to take a silent movie and make it into a movie because yeah. like I think it has a lot it had a lot more emotion without dialogue I agree with you it creates its own atmosphere yeah yeah I don't know about you what you guys think but I, I, I don't care enough yeah, about Nosferatu to shit, even yeah. I have an opinion, really. Do it. I don't actually think it's that great of a movie. <laughs> to begin do with, it. So. Go ahead. Do it's it. fine. Yeah, like I said, it's like. Execute Order 66. <laughs> Speaking of Sam Jackson. <laughs> Samuel Jackson doesn't appear in <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> Boy. What? Samuel Jackson doesn't appear in Avengers Infinity War or its sequel or Black Panther, and he doesn't seem to be happy about it. I, oh. He seems to be, like, completely out of the loop with being involved in yeah. Marvel anything. They really yeah. kind of they kind of kicked him out. Like, he didn't <laughs> know that he was going to be in Captain Marvel, and now he's just like, I don't think I'm in Avengers because nobody's called me yet. But they haven't really <laughs> started Avengers 4, have they? I know, so he's not going to be like, in Avengers just, 3. They, like, just started. I don't, think, I don't think Nick Fury has very prominence anyways anymore. Exactly. Now they're in yeah. fucking space. They're not, like, yeah. spies yeah. anymore. I thought most of it was <laughs> taking place on Earth, though. The first one is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Avengers 4 is, like, just started. I don't know. I, Maybe it's well, cos- more cosmic. I, I like the Nick Fury character, and he's though. Like, not I, even really a part of the Avengers anymore. Yeah, that's either. anymore. He's, he's not he's part more of like, S.H.I.E.L.D. He was... Yeah, he's more like just like the background influence that causes some yeah, he was like drama their, their and mentor. shit like that. Yeah, right, and So that when they're like, oh no, we can't do it, he's like, yes you can. And then they go and they do it. <laughs> yeah. These <laughs> are Coulson's his... card. He kept them with him at all times. Yeah. He was going to have you sign them. Maybe you should avenge him. This is why we're the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only, like, and like, alright, so I get it, Sam Jackson, but like, I just, I don't want Sam Jackson as Nick Fury because I can't have Sam Jackson saying motherfucker all the time if he's Nick Fury. Where's that motherfucking Iron Man? Like, I would love to hear that. I mean, he could say it once. once. <laughs> they have him at the end he of could, Deadpool. He could say it once per movie. Yeah. Or, yeah, they could throw him in Deadpool. Right. I mean, that's a different studio. Yeah. They could probably, they can, probably tweet You can it. say fuck in a PG-13 movie. Three but times. Once. It's me. once. You, it's you once. get once. It's three. No, no it's, it's three. I did a, I did a report I'm on this. It's sure three. It's but no one wants to push it. No one wants to push it. Because you can say sure you fuck three one. times. Yeah, but uh, this isn't the main point I'm making. What I'm making is that he can't put the word mother in front of it. So you can't say yeah. motherfucker in a PG-13 movie. So he wouldn't be able to anyways. That's why he says motherfucker. 
Mall fucker. Mall fucker. Mall fucker. Mall fucker. I don't know. Mall fucker. I'm sick of all these Monday to Friday snakes on this monkey fighting plane. I think uh, if you use fucker instead of fuck, that null and voids the point, anyways. Actually, it just seems like really stupid rules. The point is, they we're are. rated M. So. Uh, this is just some, I think, funny news. Uh, the guy who played Ego, Kurt Russell, during. Uh, during production of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, referred to Chris Pratt's character Star Lord as Star Wars <laughs> all the time. He, he thought it, he literally thought uh, Chris Pratt's character's name was Star Wars. <laughs> That's so, during your research so, into yeah, what you're yeah. So when he got it right, was it like that scene in the first Guardians of the Galaxy? When he faces <laughs> off against that guy? Yeah. Star Lord! Alright! <laughs> The BRPD, which is the Hellboy universe, gets new dates, <laughs> Ape Sapium returns, and more potential details from the rebooted Hellverse, Hellboy mm. universe has surfaced. So what it's saying is like they're shaping out the BRPD, like the agents in the BRPD a little bit more than they did in the movies. So it's not just about like Liz, Abe, and Hellboy. All right. Like they're like bringing in Lobster Johnson and shit like that. And I love Lobster Johnson. Nah, I just don't care. I mean, I'll probably end up watching it just like I did everything else, all boy, but I'm not that into it. So, Sasha Lane is in Final Talks to play a Alice Moynihan, who is, in the comics, is rescued by Hellboy after being kidnapped by fairies. Yeah, so, fairies. The, well, the Blood Queen is, is, is a very, like, fairy-centric uh -huh. plot line. So right up your alley. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers! Wait, do you like Twilight? No, I don't. These two tell me how good of good of a book they are. She's a good writer. No. And we're not saying they're good books. Yes. She was we're a saying good she's a good role. writer. She picked a different genre, maybe. <laughs> picked the wrong genre. Da Director David F. Sandberg confirmed that Shaz Shazam <laughs> has a script and will begin shooting soon. This actually makes me a lot more excited about the DC Extended Universe because I actually really do like Shazam a lot as a character. I love the Shazam comic books because they're filled with hope and whimsy <clears throat> comparatively to this, like, everything sucks. I, I liked it better when he was called Captain Marvel. I will fucking kill <laughs> I guess. I mean, like, I just don't have interest in a character that's a little kid and when he says, Shazam, he turns yeah. into a Superman, basically. Superman? Yeah, he has I, magic, I, though. The concept is fucking stupid to me. I've yeah. always thought that I like... Uh, the idea that like a kid says a word and then becomes like a magical adult but I think that Shazam is almost just like a carbon copy of what Superman basically is and that makes it really boring yeah. to me like I mean they even My, fucking look alike they huh? do but I feel like the thing about Shazam is that like I think he idolized Superman like the, the way the comics yeah. interpret yeah, it is, I, I, I know idolized that, Superman but... so much that like when he became a hero that's what he's shaped to be but he has more See, this 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 universe doesn't have that Boy Scout character that you need in the Justice League. And I feel like Shazam can replace Superman, who's like, mm, my parents are dead. No, Martha's still alive. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know my planet. I'm such an alien. Like, you have this kid who's like... Well, wanna... one Martha's still <laughs> yeah. alive. Damn he's like, <laughs> He's like, I want to do good, and I want to do this things like, like Superman. But better, and, like, that's what I mean. Like, I think you need, like, to make a good Justice League movie, you need you need the Flash's quips, you, but you also need a, that Superman, like, guys, don't do this. Batman backstory. A lighthearted moral character. Right, you need a lighthearted moral character. I think that's what make yeah. this, makes the Justice League work. Like, you can't have all of them be brooding dickholes. See, whenever I think of Shazam, I just think of Injustice 2, where he gets his <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the first Injustice. I didn't know he, he was... Yeah, yeah, I didn't know he was... Yeah, that's the first one. But I didn't know he was a 10-year-old kid at the time. And I was like, <laughs> oh, man. So he just <laughs> melted a kid's head. Yeah. <laughs> so, he literally <laughs> just <laughs> murdered a child. <laughs> he knew what we was going for when he joined this... Resi I when he joined... Guess. I didn't think he was expecting face melting. Ending nearly two years. At least of not his own. Right, right. Ending nearly two years of speculation. Daniel Craig has confirmed he'll return for his fifth James Bond film. My not boy. his balls, though. 
<laughs> all, right, all, right, all I said is, like I said in our review of Logan Lucky, he best be speaking that trailer trash talk. I'm Jones, James Bounds. What you gonna do there? You gonna see me naked? No peeking. No peeking. We got there, him rolling, him in the window, them gadgets, and them with them on. What? Now, Aaron, what you what you gonna got me right there? Do you know that that, that car fashion over that, that that NASCAR car you got there? Yeah, I'm the excited. Next James Bond be in the South. Yes. <laughs> I, I do you? like Daniel Craig as James Bond quite a bit. Yeah. James Bond in the South going undercover yes. for an like underground ring, and like he's like, now. Nah. What you have? I have a martini. A martini? I mean a whiskey. I think we're overlooking what Eli just said. Did you say you don't like James yeah, Bond? I don't much care for James Bond. It's not my whoa, whoa, understandable. Whoa. Wait. All right. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I mean, <laughs> the vast majority of Bond movies are kind of shit. Do you so. like GoldenEye 64? I never really played that, man. Eli is before m- my time. Yeah, it was like Eli's <laughs> a child. Eli's like 12. We'll have to play that for there. the channel sometime. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Billy Elliot, director Stephen Dargy, is in early talks to helm the Star Wars anthology film about Obi-Wan Kenobi. High ground. (laughs) (laughs) That's not said at least seven times, I'll be disappointed. God damn it. I really want it to be like in a first person biography standpoint, (laughs) and then they'll call like the first, they call it high ground. And how I had it. <laughs> <laughs> my thing, my thing about this movie is, if they cast Aaron McGregor, I just want him to try to like laugh off the word "jungly." <laughs> I want them to cast Ian McGregor, actually. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I, I could see anybody else playing yeah. Jesus well, at he's... this point. <laughs> <laughs> he's much older now too, so it works out. Like. <laughs> Well, he's not, like, much, much older. He's old enough he's where you older, could, like, hold yeah. him off a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Passion of the Christ? <laughs> Just imagine Ian McGregor's Obi-Wan. <laughs> he's on, on the, the cross. cross. I have the high ground. <laughs> cross over top of everybody and then they all burst into flames. <laughs> no, no, before he's just like, sad people, I trusted you. I loved you. That you might, were like family to me. That might be my favorite image my head has ever gave me. <laughs> That's a fucked up image. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> it just, every time I see that post on Facebook. It's a picture of Ewan McGregor wearing his Jedi robes. And he's like, like and share if you're not ashamed to have Jesus on your timeline. (laughs) Because every old person that I'm friends with shares it. Thinking that it's actually a picture of Jesus. God, that's great. Oh, man. I think, I don't know. I really like, I'm starting to feel like I'm going to like the anthology movies a lot more. Than I am the legitimate like Skywalker saga. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I just hope you go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say the one thing that makes me like excited but worried about this movie at the same time is this director is really only known for like personal drama movies. Not really anything that makes you think like yeah he'd be a good Star Wars director. Put him in there. Personal drama. But it's be, first, did like, I really have the high ground? Right. <laughs> I no, think I think this is really going to be a more high. humanizing like tone. Like yeah, I would like I would be more excited if I knew that it was going to be more of like an old style Star Wars movie than kind of like a newer one where it was almost more action focused than anything else. Old Man Logan Obi Wan edition. <laughs> oh my Whoosh. god. Whoosh. <laughs> like <laughs> there's like there's been talks about a. Um, a Yoda anthology movie, and I, 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 and that's what I was going to talk about. Is I really want to see them do that, but I want them to bring the puppets from the mm. old Star Wars back. I don't mind the CGI. I don't like. <laughs> but I do everyone, not, I've heard it was going to be a young Yoda, though. I don't. Yeah, I've heard the same He's thing, now. and I absolutely <laughs> six hundred years before the Star Wars series. I absolutely six hundred years now. He's six foot. Stupid backflippy fucking Yoda. 
I like it. No, that's so I mean, dumb. They even like put it into the lore. Where that's just his fight style because he's so short. That's like expanded universe bullshit, but. Yeah, I mean, I like why it. Do you, well, why do you I hate just, on the kid who only who, who only saw the prequels? Because the, no, I, I, no I saw the rest of them. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a difference between being no, I grew up with the being... prequels. I was like four or five when they came out. Yeah. God, that's but, right. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I was. I couldn't even tell that that was fake. I was like, man, this is a big room they shot this in. <laughs> 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 but I, I definitely prefer. Uh, someone, someone had to build these scenic. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Trust me, nobody built that yeah, shit. No, no one built anything there. <laughs> no, no, no. Someone they built a giant disappointment. Someone <laughs> literally drew that shit with Microsoft Paint <laughs> with their fucking <laughs> Parkinson's hand. <laughs> And then called it a fucking movie. John still hates the Star Wars. (laughs) Prequels. John hates the Star Wars prequels. I I like Puppet Yoda a lot more because that was more of like a scholarly (laughs) philosopher style Yoda. Well, I mean, and I think that, I think that was just more his role. In the yeah. Film. Well, yeah, <laughs> he was especially. A sage. But... He'd be like if this was like a D and D or like older like that Jenny's being said. I, yeah. That being said, I didn't like his role in the prequels, which was just man, I can't foretell anything in the future. Dark side too much. Well, that's because <laughs> that's at that much at that point he was like nine hundred something years old yeah, and like on the verge of death. But I don't know. I don't like when Star Wars became just another bullshit action flick. I liked it when it was actually, like, but I, a I, philosophical telling of... I would argue that, that it was always a semi-bullshit action flick. Yeah. No, not even close. I, there's, I know, like, there's like one much, action scene yeah, in the first Star Wars movie. In the first ones, there's no, like, big fights. Yeah. There's a little bit. Two, I would say two would be. The there's a little bit more into Empire, but it's mostly right, again, it's Empire. like ship yeah. battles. Yeah. Even yeah. when you think about it, even in Empire. But again, a lot of it. Yeah, it's, you have to wait a while. It's a, a lot of it's scene. political talking and stuff like that. It's more of a well, yeah, but they, philosophical I mean, they the kind first of one, and then everyone was like, Fuck movie. these politics. I mean, that's how yeah, it is. Yeah, well, Menace, though, right? yeah, I, I yeah mean, the, a lot of people called it boring and stuff like that. And again, it's I, my I favorite of the prequels because <laughs> I it's it was... the most Star Wars-like. I don't know. I, I think that there are things in there that fucking ruin it. <coughs> like the Gungans and the fucking... That entire... Oh, Gungans? That entire Gungan versus droids battle is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> the CGI is so I bad. It makes me so want... much as a kid. I'm not it even makes me want to vomit. Damn oh. you! <laughs> you and Jake. I'm the demographic go... they made that for. <laughs> you and Jake are really just sit in a dumpster fire with no, your like, love. He's, he's not. He's not. It's not that though. I love like, him. It's just that I thought he was funny. There were a decent amount of kids who, at that time, thought he was pretty funny, and then the reason that they didn't. Uh, include him again in episode two is because of a lot of the backlash they got from the older older spectrum of fans. Yeah, because Jar Jar Binks is stupid, and even I thought he was stupid as a child. I I enjoyed Sith Lord, leave him alone. (laughs) He's He's ever right out of his back. (laughs) I enjoyed it the first time that I saw it, but after the point of like being halfway through the movie and Jar Jar is still a main character, <laughs> I was like, all right, I've had enough of this bullshit. What the fuck have you not fallen in the hole I got sick of him when like, he was on uh, fucking... I, I think it would have been something that people wouldn't have been so upset about had he been more of a background character. Like when but, he was like trying to like get the fucking meat off of the hook at, yeah. on the desert planet, because I'm like, god damn. There was a lot of negative reaction to Ewoks in Jedi. I but, thought they were dumb too. Though. I still think I, I, I still think the Ewoks are stupid just because they yeah, beat the stormtroopers with blunt weapons. It's you like, saw it at yeah, a time period that was way later. Yeah, than exactly. Too. Ewoks. So you were older, and it wasn't exactly something that was in your market range. But right. Can we just kids, have some Ewoks versus Wookies and see what the fuck happens. Obviously, we know what's gonna. 
Wookiees can, like, like, rip people's <laughs> arms off. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna, like, watch it. They're right. going to pick I know up a teddy bear and, like, <laughs> scrunch it into a fucking hairball. I want an Ewok-Wookie hybrid. I want that yeah. that, that Pocahontas-style love story between I mean, the Ewoks and the, the Wookiees. E- the Ewoks are basically just midget Wookiees anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then you get an average size. You'd probably end up with something like a Great Dane where its heart is way too small for its body, <laughs> so it only lives for like two years. <laughs> they live for maybe eight. Oh, Raggy? Look at Scooby-Doo. He's yeah, I mean, Scooby-Doo's Scooby Doo. been around for how long? Yeah, how? for like 50 years. Yeah, but there's been so many iterations, that shit's dead. So I'm pretty the, sure he just talks because they're all stoned. <laughs> so the guy who, so the people who penned the movie Red are in talk, uh, John and Eric Hober are rewrite are rewriting Lion Gate's U.S. adaptation of the Naruto series. Red as in the Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis movie. Yeah. Oh God. They're Fuck making it, they so Lion Gates now has the property rights to Naruto, Naruto. and it's in the works. That well, well, there's no way this movie can be good. Child actors everywhere. Well, uh, live action anime movies are never that great. Believe it. And I want no. The, uh, Naruto is not really a. Se- do we know if they're gonna do like early Naruto? Or they're they gonna. gonna dra- do- I'm assuming they're gonna Dragon Ball Evolution it. Uh, so we're all gonna be older. So it's gonna be absolute horse dick. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be horse dick. <laughs> so honestly, if y'all want to come over here, there's oh a God. there's a Naruto <laughs> movie like poster. That if like it became true, this is the Naruto movie I'd want. Michael, oh my God, Michael Sarah's Naruto. Fuck it. Edward has fucking Sasuke. Sasuke and. I can't even see That's them. Scarlett Johansson. Wow. Is it? Yeah. 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 It's Sakura. Okay, and and I would be okay with Scarlett Johansson playing Sakura. And then... You can get that shit to actually right. happen. And then Hannibal Lecter himself... Would rather have her play Eno, because Eno right. is Bay, but... So, <laughs> you, have, you have that in mind. I would I would pay to see this garbage fire of a movie, because I think that'd be hilarious. Not going to this Why, one. Why are we not funding this? You I mean, I'm not else this that interested in Naruto to begin yeah, with. Yeah, so. I, I tried to watch it once, and literally through the first episode, I was just like, man, that guy has a fucking huge, like, ninja star on his back. And, and I just threw, it dying. just threw me, yeah, and I was like, that just threw me off. I, I and it was like, hey, he's a demon fox and some other shit thousands of years ago. So the, what is... I read the manga and I liked that a decent amount, but that's because it stays pretty uh, not child-friendly throughout the entire thing. Yeah. And then trying to watch the anime, it's like made for seven-year-olds. So my thing about this is, so my idea is, Naruto is in high school, and so... Oh it's not, so not, it's not, it's not thinking you, you are thinking hardcore Dragon Ball. Yeah, I'm gonna like he's not it's like he doesn't know his family, but he still goes to high school and Sasuke's the super popular kid and they stumble across Orochimaru being stuck in like a snake scroll and then so him, the nerdy girl, Hinata, and then Sakura and Sasuke all have to team up together <laughs> and you find out that deep down inside when the full moon comes out he turns into a demon fox shut the fuck up oh, I loved it did you demon? write that fan it's picture. from Dragon Ball Evolution don't give them ideas <laughs> they're just just watch it doesn't dra- sound that bad I mean <laughs> I hate I hate the US version of Naruto the Japanese version is way better because yeah. it is much more violent. It's so long. And also I, swears a shit ton. I still can't watch Shippuden, though. I can't watch. I think Shippuden's stupid. I made it through the original Shippuden. Naruto, and that was that was it. I think a lot of animes that do a time skip really ruin their... You can't, you can't really... Besides One Piece. I'll go with <laughs> they, One Piece. They mm-hmm. either do it really well, or, or they do it really total shit. shit show. Fuck yeah. off with your One Piece bullshit. I shut your you fucking mouth. You watched the entire first episode without looking away. That show is fucking weird, man. It is so <laughs> it's weird. So good. Gil, Gil, Gil always references One Piece when we talk for some weird reason. Not always. You have. Like you've been consistent. You, you, mm, the boy. last couple podcasts. Boy. Like I realize that anime are weird, but One Piece is like too weird for me. Like that shit is I'll, out I'll there. I'll probably we try s- to watch it. Someday. I sat. We sat you down, and you were just listening to our review of the Alabasta arc, and Ryan's face is like, what the fuck? Yeah, 
Bach is going like, uh, I, I, the, yeah, there, there are kung fu rabbit people? That was my thinking during the entire time I was turtles. listening to the uh, review was, what the fuck is this anime? <laughs> is uh, One Piece the one with like 700 episodes? Yes. Yeah. Right, no, that's no, no, no. probably why I haven't watched it then. Because I'm just like, man, I don't want to like get into it and then just try to binge watch them because it's not going to happen. No, it's not. It'd be like it's a month straight. I think you, you're, you're not going to be able to do any of that. Although, the only thing that made me say what the fuck the most was when I looked at the picture of that one character, and then she has that giant duck next to her, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's Kauru! <laughs> That's Kauru! Everybody loves Kauru! <laughs> no, we're talking about One Piece now. Oh, God. It's like, there's a giant, sentient Did you just say Kai 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 Oh, Kai I thought you said but no, like that little kid's show. speaking of like the live action, we're like, obviously next week we gotta watch Death Note and we gotta review it, so. Yeah. I'm excited because of William Defoe, but I don't know. Yeah. Would have rather had Nicolas Cage. The screenwriter of the original Gremlins movies has written a script for a third film that is reminiscent of the original. It says it's supposed to be dark and dark comedy, so I'm, I'm excited. All right. As I love long as the it's Gremlins. not following the second one, yeah, I'm as good. long as we're not following Nicki Minaj Gremlin and yeah, Super that was, Smart Gremlin, that was just dumb. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Now I don't know. I never saw the second one. So. They attacked a hotel. It's not mm. good. No. no, and so John, I, I I don't know if you you Do you they see. Kill anyone? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, they kill a lot of people. It's it's still Gremlin. There's a spider Gremlin. The only part I liked. About There's that half movie Gremlin, half spider. Was Hulk Hogan. Oh, oh shit! Is <laughs> that movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm interested. <laughs> caught my interest. So, I'm not a big knowing of how the laws work for television, but lawsuit contend that Kirkman and his fellow... I mean, the, the law works the same for television. You know what I mean, though. You, you, you are, can't murder people. <laughs> and his fellow Clements were not paid the amount AMC originally agreed on. Okay, Ooh. so what's going on is... Uh, Basically, everybody's finding out that AMC has been, like, fidgeting their numbers a little bit when they're telling people, like, how much the show's making and stuff like that. And so Kirkman, the writer for The Walking Dead, is suing AMC uh, for because they get paid a percentage of what the show makes. Mm. And so uh, they're suing for what they're owed. Right. And so they're going to go to court, and they're going to see... If AMC has actually been doing this, which it's reported to be true, and then they're gonna have to find out how much it's uh, like that, that they're lying about, and then uh, all of this is happening while they are currently shooting for the next season. Because AMC <laughs> so blasted, yeah. they're still like working together and everything like that. So AMC has blasted back saying the producers' lawsuit ba are baseless and op opportunistic. Litigation spawned from the show's massive success. Yeah, because this previous season that just came out was apparently pretty huge in ratings numbers. Right. Like, it's one of the more successful seasons now. Well, the the first, the season premiere for season seven got, like, record numbers because mm -hmm. of the head bashing. Yeah, exactly. Who was it? It was Glenn. And Abraham. Right. Don't forget about Abraham. Right, everyone forgets, everybody about, Abraham. forgets about Abraham. So, well, he was already exactly. dead at this point in the <laughs> yeah. comics. So, Michael Harmon Sheen does. and David Tennant have been cast as the angel and demon in Neil Gaiman's book, Good Omens. Ooh. And I cannot be any more excited about this. That sounds awesome. Yeah, actually. so Good Omens is like... I love of, Neil Gaiman. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Good Omens is He's one of my the, favorite gay man. <laughs> I thought that was Kian. Kian's a close no. second. Oh yeah. my god. Kian's a close third. It's <laughs> more like a good solid fit. Y'all <laughs> oh, motherfuckers. It's, I don't know that many, very many gay people, so you're pretty high up on that list. Aye, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I only know like two in Kian's still fit. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, the Right plot. after George Decay. <laughs> oh wait, you're third. NPH. Oh yeah. Sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers. But uh Ricky Martin? No, he's like way down there. <laughs> <laughs> he's the lowest common denominator for gay people apparently to John. But no, so the the plot for in uh Good Omens is that um this angel and demon arrive on Earth thinking it's the apocalypse 
and they find out that it's not. Yep. And so they just chill there instead. Yep. They and then the end of days around. actually happen, and they're like, I don't really want to destroy the Earth because the Earth is pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're putzing around for a little bit, enjoying their time, and then shit actually happens. They're like, wait a second. Right, it's very conflicting. I have a weird apocalypse story to talk about with this. Oh, God. So this recent storm that happened... I have this lady. You're talking about the tornadoes that went the, to Melvin? Yeah. This, I have this lady. She's like, I left home for I'm sorry. Work. I have a wiener in my mouth, so it's <laughs> difficult for me to talk. Top five gay people, everybody. <laughs> but no. So she goes, she goes to That's me. That's what I was getting at. I was number one. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes to me. She's like, how do you feel about the storms? I was like, it was good. She's like, it's the end of days. I was like, like like tomorrow's coming she's like nah it's the end of days it's, re it's revelations i was like i i i um you never fucking heard of a tornado before she's like look at all what's been happening this, these these the tides and things like that the, the tsunamis i'm like it's tectonic plates moving around in the ocean but i haven't even been a big tsunami no, for but a she's while. like she's like but that's god angry i'm like all right so you think it's revelations i'm like Yes, she's like, I was like, where are my fucking dragons then? She's like, well, the guy was so, you know, he doesn't know what dragons look like now, so it could have been a helicopter. I'm like, so you're telling me dragons are helicopters in John's vision in <laughs> Revelation? She's like, yeah, I was like, I'd rather, like, die trying to take a picture of a dragon than this fucking helicopter. They're actually, I was watching some History Channel thing, and they're pretty sure that when they mention dragons in the Bible, they're referring to dinosaurs. The wall. See? <laughs> What I feel like is if you want something that flies and looks like a dragon, we need to talk to Seto Kaiba. I fucking hate you. I always keep your blue eyes handy. Joe McHale is in talks to star in Valiant, Comet, Quantum, and Woody television series as Woody Henderson, <coughs> um, one of the project's dynamic duo. So they're kind of like these, like, really not good... They're bad heroes, but still are able to do good things. They're trying to do this whole Valiant Universe thing like everyone else is, and I just, I don't know. I like Joel McHale enough, but I... Don't I know who that is. He's from Community. Oh, okay. Still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know. Although canceled two years ago, Hannibal may be getting a fourth season. Showrunner Brian Filler talks uh, are officially underway to revive the show. And this is the only reason that you're bringing this up and why they're talking about it is that the rights to Silence of the Lamb are now up for grabs again. So they got to make something. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the company who owns it, it isn't going to make anything. <laughs> so NBC Television can take that uh, and use it. Because the third season of Hannibal okay. was based off of Red Dragon. Uh, gotcha. So the fourth season is assumably going to be Silence of the Lamb and the, third season, and the fifth season would be Hannibal. Maybe. Probably. Eh, I don't like Hannibal. Maybe. Eh. I think Hannibal was a really, like, comparatively, Maybe. was a yeah. bad movie. Oh, well. I mean, it's whatever they want to do. I'm already not into the series. Right. David Tennant's villain, The Purple Man, will play a role in Jessica Jones' future, and new set photos reveal this. Um, I'm pretty excited about this, because I know you two really didn't like Jessica Jones. But I, like, I actually I like Kilgrave though. I do like Kilgrave a lot in that <laughs> show, and I thought it was really enjoyable. You still hate Jessica Jones, like yeah, I don't like Jessica. You Jones. like even it was in the really, boring. she's okay in the Defenders for a show. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. I don't know. I like the noir feeling of it. Like, that's just me. Mm -hmm. It I, has nothing to do with like the feel of the movie or show. It's like everything that happens in it is just really boringly told. I I thought the only thing was like the soldier who took the pills was bad but like i don't know i really like jessica jones mm. i found it to be fun and interesting and like i think her being a giant dick is like just part of her character i know that you don't like that ryan she's too much of an asshole for me i'm sorry coming from a guy that's like i'm probably <laughs> the biggest asshole i know but <laughs> ryan's fantasy is a girl that could beat the shit out of him and talk him down at the same time but he doesn't like her not talk <laughs> me down just beat the shit out of me no she's gonna talk you down I like very nice bubbly girls, but also ones that could possibly kick the crap out of me. Julian McNan, man, known for his roles in the Fantastic Four, Nip, Tuck, and Charmed, will play a mysterious character in Marvel's Runaway. This is a Hulu TV series. Julian McMahon played Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four movies oh, God. from our childhood. Oh, yeah, so we already know Not she's great at acting. Childhood. It's he. 
He's great at acting. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom's a guy. <laughs> Just because it's a doctor doesn't mean it's a dude. <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, Remy can be doctors too, Kian. <laughs> I don't want to, I want to <laughs> mean to say it like that. I do think women can be doctors. We're not misogynists. Star Speak Wars Rebels guilty. almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them the vibe. Star Wars Rebels almost got a huge Sith injection when talks occurred for the protagonist from the Force Unleashed to join the show as an Inquisitor. Starkiller. Starkiller. Yeah. What's an Inquisitor? Can someone... Uh, can it's crazy? like... Uh, no, it, it's kind of like uh, Vader's elite yeah. kind of sort of thing. Okay. And the reason they didn't take him is because he's uh, one of the Sith characters that's all about that unlimited power. He's too and so yeah. they, he's too powerful for anybody in the show to even be able to deal with. He's too, too powerful OD. for anybody. Huh? Yeah, too exactly. OD, he's, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Way too, he's too powerful. And so there was, there'd be no way that the main characters in the Star Wars Rebels show, with a decent explanation, as a, unless would, they became way too powerful. Yeah, yeah exactly. In which case would ever have a new problem. Be able to overcome anything that Star Killer would have been able to throw out. What if they just crush him with a big rock? Star Killer or yeah. uh, Rebels? Main He'd probably characters. throw it back. Yeah. <laughs> But if he didn't see it, there was a second big rock behind the first big rock. <laughs> the league <laughs> actor and writer Paul probably just cloned him again. <laughs> the league actor and writer Paul Shear will pen the script for Amazon's Galaxy Quest TV series, replacing Robert Gordon. I'm really excited for this because I actually really enjoyed the Galaxy Quest movie with Tim Allen, and I thought it was the <laughs> funniest, best Star Trek movie I've seen in a while. Well, I'd be more excited for it if Alan Rickman was still alive yeah. and playing in it. Oh, that's understandable. But we get the guy from the league in it. I think that's like I like the league's writing. I like the league's writing a lot. I like I like the league, but when I see all the actors in the league and other stuff, I do not like them in other stuff. No, well, he's just doing the script, isn't he? He is just doing the script. Yeah, he's not actually in the show, or at least <clears throat> as far as we know. He's probably gonna cameo in the show. There's a good chance. The Conjuring 2 actress... Uh, oh, ABC has ordered a pilot for a live-action reboot of the classic animated comedy The Jetsons, executive produced by Robert Zemeckis. Ah, uh, more live-action anime adaptations. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like this needs to stop. Who's yeah. The target uh, audience for this? That's what I'm wondering, It's too. ABC, so it's going to be like primetime family dramas. So teenagers... Like parents. moms who don't have jobs. People who also, actually who's give going a shit? to give a fuck about this? Like, I feel like everybody that used to watch the Jetsons is and... either super old or super dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, super I mean, dead, huh? That's <laughs> <laughs> when you're already dead and you die again. Like, I remember seeing the Jetsons on Boomerang when I was a kid, and I was like, this shit's stupid. This is what my parents used to watch. The only thing of the Jetsons that I <laughs> watched a lot of was. Whenever my grandma was watching the TV show, or uh, we had one of the Jetsons movies on VHS, the one where they're like, uh, Jetsons' boss is like enslaving an alien race to be like miners for coal and shit. God. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, uh, really that's really shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I, what was his name? Peaked Elroy? Elroy, like, makes friends with one of these fucking little furball alien things and freezes people, and... Oh, uh, it's really speak. weird. Speaking of Boomerang, real quick, I remember how infuriating it was for me whenever Cartoon Network would do that dumb shit where they decide to marathon Boomerang all day. It made me want to throw my TV out the window. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Why do you hate Boomerang? I fucking hate those old school cartoons. I don't find them funny. I don't know what well, the hell Boomerang you. is. Like, it's a well, for the old you know, we only have a few Thumbs. more news. <laughs> uh, the Conjuring 2 actress Frances O'Connor, she played the mother in The Conjuring 2, will play Nina Locke in Hulu's Lock and Key pilot, based on IDW comics by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. Um, apparently it's supposed to be a horror comic, and it, I... Jay read it, and he said it had an interesting concept about the keys opening doors to the spirit world and shit like that. Jay's idea of an interesting concept, though, is a little skewed. I'm going to give him the benefit of the <laughs> doubt, because that's what you do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really interested in anything Hulu is doing. Which and one is Lock and Key? It's, it's like Nine Nines on Hulu. 
Yeah, but I, don't, I just it don't started have Hulu. on Fox, though. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh. It's, I don't have, have anything against Hulu. I just don't have Hulu, so I'm not I mean, that interested I, because I, I can't watch it. I wouldn't. <laughs> because there's all those pairing TV shows coming out. Like, is that the... No, I'm thinking of the one where the chick has, like, light power and dude has, like... Yeah, that's Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, that's Cloak and Dagger. No, Lock and Key is, like, their siblings that open doors okay. to, like, Darth Maul and Netherrealm and stuff like that. Got it. And William, this is the last one. William Fredrickson, the Academy Award-winning director behind The Exorcist, will lend his voice to The Simpsons during the Trias of Horror. Oh, my God, 2028? Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. Jesus yeah. Yeah, cause Christ. This is the 28th season right now. Yes. Who um, cares? I like the Tree Houses of Horrors for the no, most part. The Simpsons has really shitty writing now, so yeah. I don't give a shit. Even the Tree Houses of Horrors now suck. Not interested at all. I haven't watched The Simpsons for probably about a decade. That so. show just needs to get canceled already. They can't. They won't, though. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it's been the news. I'm Keanu Banyas. I'm John Dean. Eli Brown. Mexican. Max. Rye guy. Burr.